Hey everybody, it's Mr. 95 Cents. We're here for Mr. 95 Cents Sport Card Adventures. How we doing everybody? Oh, I opened nine packs of this, the last video. We're going to open the next nine. I'm hoping for something big. We'll see what happens. How we doing everybody? Oh, geez. I tell you what, it's a rainy day here in uh, beautiful New Jersey here. And uh, I'm going to probably be posting this video a little early because... My nephew is playing about, I think it's about 445 in the Nationals. His t hockey team, the New York Saints, made the Nationals. So this is the first round. So they're playing in the Nationals. Not too far, about maybe an hour away. Not too bad. So Uncle Darrell's going to go to this one. Uh, they won their big conference la last weekend, but it was two and a half hours away. So, But I got a haircut, too. So I need a haircut. I was starting to get hippie. Uh, my my poor barber had been cutting my hair since I was five years old. He was still not there, and I was talking to the owner who was cutting my hair, a new new young guy, and uh, he's he's under treatment, and you know it don't look like he's coming back, but we'll see. They're hoping. He's he's also uh, he's eight. Elio is at least eighty four, eighty five years old. So what are you gonna do? I mean, that's, I knew it was a, eventually, you know. But hopefully he comes back. We'll see. But I gave my regards, which, you know, uh, John, the owner there, says he said, always tells me I say hello. All right. And that's about it for that. Let's see here. What do we got to do? Uh, oh, we're going to shout out to all our featured channels. I got to be honest with you. I, I'm behind on the videos, but I'm catching up. I haven't seen who won the spinach hunt yet i don't even know if they put that out yet i think julie said she was gonna have a duck race soon so but i haven't watched a video lately julie but i'm gonna check oh between today and tomorrow <laughs> mostly tomorrow so uh i'll probably be caught up by by monday anyway so a lot of videos out there i tell you what i was watching some last night on here on the featured channels and there's hours and hours of entertainment and knowledge which, which i learned something all the time. You know, it's, it's amazing. All right, we're going to do our prizes. Enough talking. All right, so if you commented on the last video and you're a subscriber, we're going to give you a chance for one of these prizes. First out of the box today, we got the 2021 Topps Chrome Pack. Second out of the box, we got the 1980, uh, well, it's not an 1884, but it's an 84, one of those uh, anniversary inserts from Topps Refractor thing. And then we got a Prism optic lights out mariana rivera for third out of the box and fourth out of the box it's a 94 flair diamond tribute barry bonds all right let me get the box here we got a lot of names in there we're gonna mix them up all right, all right. we're all mixed got a little hand mix going now we're gonna shake it up all right good luck to everybody we're going for the pack first. Here we go. Okay. First out of the box today is... Oh, Card Collector 65. Card Collector 65 gets the pack. Here we go. All right. We're going for the Otani. Make sure I only got one. I think I got. Okay, here goes. Callie and Jordan. Hey, Callie and Jordan with the Otani. That's a nice card. There we go. I mean, I like this one better because I'm a Yankee fan. Marianne over there. The Otani's good, but Mariano. He was one of my favorites. Here we go. Oh, BCS sports cards. I think he won before. Not bad. Not bad. I think he won last week. All right. And we got the Barry Bond. I'm going to dig this time. Here we go. I'm digging. Oh, Julie. Julie. I probably see her Monday at the kitchen table box break. Julie. All right. Julie's got the Barry Bonds coming. All right, and that's our four winners for this video. All you got to do is 
be a subscriber and comment on this video. And I'm going to have prizes I'm going to show that you can have a chance to win on Tuesday in the next video. All right, we got warehouse finds coming up here. Let's see what we got. We got some Pokemon. Looks like all Pokemon promos again. The League promos. We got a Skarmory foil. There we go. Hollow. See, that's a reverse hollow, they call it. We got a Snivy reverse hollow. We got a Gab Bite. An Incineroar. We got a Muscle Band. They got the special Pokemon League. And see me there. The, now, these are old ones. These are original Pokemon League promos. They got the Black Star promos. We got a Morel. See the Black Star in the corner? That's what they did uh, when Wizards of the Coast made the cards. And they were for the uh, leagues. And look at this. This is a good one. This is one of my favorites. The Surfing Pikachu. Look at that. Surfing Pikachu. Old uh, Black Star promo. That's nice. All right, we'll put that over here. And we got some hockey today. Ooh. Hockey. Let's see what we found. All right. We got some Patrick Waugh. We got a... These are all older. And that's Pete Patrick Waugh. We got a Zenith. They're just base cards, but they're nice. We got the Upper Deck Ovation. And we got the, and we got the Top's Finest. And we got some Upper Deck Portraits. We got a Connor McDavid Upper Deck Portrait. We got a Patrick Kane Upper Deck Portrait. Oh, I like these. These are nice die cuts from Upper Deck. Uh, what do they call them? Superstar Showdown. Brian Leach. And I believe they had a matching die cut that would go together with them. I don't know who his guy was, but... We got, uh, even Score had some nice stuff. This is a net worth Jacqueline Thiebaud. The Pinnacle Mask. This is the, before they came out with the Fancy Mask. This is a regular card in the set. Mike Richter. Just a regular card in the set. We got a Upper Deck Energy, Austin Matthews. And this is a pro set, it looks like. Yeah, pro set. Susan St. James, who was a celebrity captain. Because she was actually an act actress. Yeah. Hartford Whalers. <laughs> it's an old one. They ain't been around in a long time, right? Oh, basketball. We got some Michael Jordans. Can't go wrong with Michael Jordans. I'm trying to remember what they call this. Uh, this was, I don't know, strong finisher insert? No, it's something else. But that's a nice Michael Jordan insert from SP. And I can't remember the name of what they called it. Oh, these were, this was like a series here. Okay, we got a bunch of these. So this is a uh, Michael Jordan Rookie of the Year insert set from Upper Deck, but they're nice cards, and they're from, uh, oh, jeez, I gotta get the magnifying glass, I can't read this writing anymore, 2005, so they're, they're nice, got a whole bunch of them, I'd be surprised, I haven't looked these up, but some of them go for five, ten dollars, I don't know if I'm gonna have any doubles here, but there's a bunch, so there's a very nice Set. There he is with the tongue out. Yeah, to me, he, he is the true goat. Yeah. We got some more Michael Jordan. We got a lot of Michael Jordan today. So here we got now the new newer Goodwin champions. 
the big deal about them is a lot of it is you get Michael Jordan cards because he still was signed with Upper Deck and you get a chance for autographs. Uh, and I got a lot of Goodwin Champion cards. I'm just going to show them to you through the years. All different cards through the different years. You know, of course, they can't use the NBA logos, but it's still Michael Jordan and they're nice. A lot of them here. Now they would usually put in each set three or four different Jordan cards. I mean, he was a big draw for their set. That's why I, I opened a lot of it. I never got an autograph though, but it's all right. Here's, here's some too. Here you go. That's a whole lot of Goodwin Champion ones. So I got a couple more Jordans here. And one more. This is from the Athlete of the Century. Upper Deck Remembers insert of Jordan. They were nice. And we got baseball. We got a Team Pinnacle. It's got Randy Johnson. Glossy on one side, and Justin Verlander on the other. Team Pinnacle. Well, I thought this was a funny card. Now, what's this from? This is from Topps. Uh, looks like 2009, possibly. But it's a big poppy. And I like, the, I like the picture where he's, like, jumping into the stadium almost. Look at that. Now, this thing here was different. I didn't look at it, though. It's a headline stars from Fun Pack, Robin Yao, and I think it says Gary Sheffield, too. So let's see. I think it, does it come apart or something? I haven't I haven't tried this. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Oh, jeez. All right. Well, <laughs> that's all right. I, I, this must have been taped together for years. So I sort of ruined the card a little bit. So I opened it up, and when I opened it, the glue, like a sticky glue, it sort of ripped off the card a little bit. What are you going to do? But I wanted to see what it said. And it's got a nice holographic in there of Gary, uh, actually, David Winfield, I think. Win oh, that's better, because he was a Yankee. Well, Sheffield was a Yankee, too. Winfield and Yount. Know, it's hard to see the thing. There you go. An interesting card from Topps Fun Pack. All right. Oh, look at this here. Bull Dorum cards. Who made those? Topps. Okay. These are Bull Dorum inserts. We got a Tony card from Bull Dorum. We got a Larry Hockett card. A Jimmy card. A Nuke Lelouch. And a Bobby card. More baseball coming. You got, oh, this is a whole bunch of George Springers. All right. You never know who you're going to find. We got a uh, winning combos. This is a uh, George Springer. Matt Barnes, Contenders card. That's a contender from 2011. We got a collegiate national team, George Springer for the USA. We got a Topps Future Star, George Springer. We got his first Bowman card of George Springer. We got a Topps Anniversary Black, number the 299 of Springer. And I like this card. Too bad it wasn't a Yankee card. I probably got Yankee somewhere. This is a Trophy Hunters. Uh, who made that? I think it's, that's from Topps. 
I want to say stadium. This might have been in Stadium Club. This is a nice card, though. Look at that, George Springer. You got the Blue Jay with the cup. Yeah, right. <laughs> what do we got? Oh, we got some French's. French's mustard cards. <laughs> we got a French's mustard, uh, Sandy Alomar Jr. and Benito Santiago. These are from 92. We got a French's Robin Ventura and Matt Williams. And then we get a duplicate of that. All right. Tops inserts. We got a Tops 150 year insert of Duke Snyder, greatest players. Monty Irvin. Don Larson, Hugging Yogi. A Johnny Mize. And a Tom Seaver. Now, these were definitely different. These were from Cooper's uh, National Baseball Hall of Fame. Who made these? Panini. Okay, this is part, I think this is part of Cooperstown product. So, these were tickets. So, different tickets. Does it tell you on the back? Uh, yeah, it has the date. It has what happened, who played who. But these are different tickets at time. This is from 1920 World Championship. Like, you know, pictures of the tickets anyway. We got the, uh, geez, this won't even tell you, from 1972, historic tickets. It's the Pirates and the Mets. It tells you a lot on the back. This one's for World Championship Games 1924 at the Polo Grounds. On the back, it tells you all about what happened that game. This one's from the 1931 World Championship game, Philadelphia and St. Louis. And this one here is in Japanese. It's from the 1931 U.S. Tour of Japan. Look at that one. Lou Gehrig was in that one. I remember that. Well, I don't remember being there because I was too old. But <laughs> I remember hearing about it, reading about it or something. Uh, we got some couple of Troy Aikmans here. We got the old pro line quarterback gold Troy Aikman. We got a newer prestige old school Troy Aikman. And we got this is from uh, Leaf Draft. First overall, Troy Aikman. We got a Donruss Elite Lineage, Roger Storback, Tony Romo. So that's not Troy Aikman. We got a checklist, Team MVP, with Troy Aikman on it. And... Oh, there's another Romo card. We got a, a Panini Threads, Triple Threat. Romo, Felix Jones, and Miles Austin. We got a Don, Don Russ Dominator, Russell Wilson card. Where will he go? I don't think he's staying with them. Oh, we got his Prism Rookie. That's nice, of Russell Wilson. We got a Topps Kickoff Rookie. Of Russell Wilson. There's some random cards here. We got a from Phoenix, a Fire Forged Mike Ditka. That's nice. Fire Forged Mike Ditka. From the uh, Pini Elite, we got a Steve Spurrier passing the torch. And the other side is a guy I never heard of, Gary B. Ban. We're talking old now. I ain't heard of him. We got a prestige Living Legends Randy Moss card. We got an NFL Rookie Material Icon Randy Moss card. 
Now we got some Matt Ryan here. He was in the uh, commercial, I think, for the Super Bowl. We got a, a Teen Colors from uh, Classics, Matt Ryan. We got a, a Don Russ Elite Series, Matt Ryan. Nice shiny cord. We got a Absolute Kickoff, Matt Ryan. Let's throw these on the side. The pile, the piles get big. They start falling down on me. Here we go. Let me get some Travis Kelsey. We got a, a Prestige Highlight Reel, Travis Kelsey. We got a Classic Errors, Kansas City Chief Errors, Tony Gonzalez, Travis Kelsey card. We got a Donruss Elite Series, Travis Kelsey. And we got the Score Captains card, Travis Kelsey. When are they going to come out with the Travis Kelsey Taylor Swift card? Oh, that's going to be a hot card, I bet you. <laughs> Thousands of dollars, probably. All right, we got, we got some 86 tops football. All right. Looks like Cardinals and Patriots today. We got a J.T. Smith. The Cardinals. We got a Lance Smith from the Cardinals. Curtis Greer from the Cardinals. Got an in action. Mitchell takes it outside from the Cardinals. Got a Lonnie Young. A Neil Lomax. And this guy has one of the best nicknames in football Stump Mitchell. I'm assuming it's his nickname. I don't know if anybody actually named him Stump, but you never know. I don't know. I'm just assuming it was his nickname. All right. Oh, here we go. Patriots. We got an Andre Tippett. We got a Raymond Claiborne. A Tony Franklin. Steve Nelson. Well, this guy was a good. John Hanna. And then we got O.J. Otis Anderson. There he is. My buddy. <laughs> there we are. And that's our warehouse finds today. Let me get a little cup of coffee here. Oh, boy, that's good. So, we're going to go to our card shop story. So, I went on the road uh, the, the other day, and I have a story from that, just telling you what happened on the road, going to different places, picking up supplies, doing a couple of videos. But something happened last night where I'm going to hold that video off till Tuesday, I guess. Uh, that story. So, because uh, last night I'm in here working, getting ready for this video, you know, picking out prizes and, you know, doing that kind of stuff. And uh, I got a text. I'm, the phone's sitting here, and I got a text from my buddy John that used to work for me back in the old Garfield era. Uh, those of you that don't know my history, I had a bunch of businesses, and one of my big businesses back in the day, I had a, an arcade in Garfield. Uh, and next to the arcade, we had a store, uh, or in the arcade, if you want to say, it was a gigantic indoor flea market. And, uh, we rented space for the arcade for the, uh, store. And I actually had an office there too, where I ran everything else out of. So he was my right hand man over there. Good kid. I'll tell you. And it was nice to hear from him last night. Uh, last time I've seen, seen him, oh, well, I remember what happened was I left Garfield, I still had the store, left him as manager because he was very good, you know, I knew his whole family, and, uh, I went to, uh, where I am now, and I started my first sports page store, just sport cards, you know, which was much smaller, but, you know, the rent's high around here. So, uh, and he was running that store until we lost the lease. Then he came to Morristown, and then he was only about 19 years old. His whole family moved down to, like, Wildwood, so he couldn't commute, and he had to leave the the, uh, the business. But he was good. Yeah, you know, he was a great guy. Uh, 
So the first time I saw him again, I'm in the uh, the original sports page store in Morristown, and a big gigantic bus pulls up, and it's him. He's a bus driver from Wildwood driving people up here to go to like the city and stuff to go see plays and whatever, baseball games. So he uh, had a layover. I guess maybe he dropped people off, say, at a baseball game in New York. And we're only about an hour out of New York, so they're going to be there. for. So he came down. He was with me for about an hour, you know, before he had to go back, you know. So that was fun. And then once we were in the Morris Plain store, he came and visited again with his girlfriend, I remember, because, uh, let's see, how old is he now, John? I think John now has got to be in his 50s, 52, 54. So, because uh, that was a, quite a while ago. So uh, I want to say he's 54. So I think he was the same age as my, my younger brother. So uh, it was nice to hear from him last night. He's doing well. Uh, his parents have both passed away, as of mine have. Uh, and his parents were the best. The, the whole family, you know, his parents were the best. Uh, when I moved into that flea market, his, his parents had a booth there. Uh, his mother ran it mostly, but uh, the father was a truck driver and he was very, they were all very nice. So she gave me as a good luck charm. This is funny because I told him I still had it. He was surprised I still had it. She, and I've shown this uh, on my fighting videos as one of my good luck charms. Uh, this is, she knitted these. So this is an outhouse with a guy waiting to get in. in. And uh, she knitted these. They're, they're really unique. And you open up the door, and he's waiting because there's a guy in there already. See him? <laughs> with the toilet paper and everything. So I, I've i had this with me in my office uh, or store. Oh, geez, when was that? Uh, 34, 35 years ago? <laughs> so he was surprised I still had it, you know. I, I I hold his parents and him and his whole family in high regard. Uh, but, you know, things didn't work out. And he, he, there's no way. Wow, it was, I think, two and a half hours from here. So no way he's going to come. You, you know, what are you going to do? So, uh, but it was nice to hear from him. He's now about, like I said, about 54. And he's uh, still driving the bus when they need him. But he uh, drives dump trucks. Because his father was a truck driver, you know, basically. So... Uh, yeah, so he's, he's doing well. He told me he's doing okay. You know, uh, I believe he's, they're still Facebook friends. They're Facebook friends. But that's one good thing about Facebook. So I, I told him I, he don't post that much, but his sister does. So I sort of been keeping track of the family through the sister mainly and him too. He would post once in a while, but, uh, the last video I saw him, he might've been driving a motorcycle or something, you know, but, uh, now, I, I told him one, one day when he's up here again, he's got to come visit. Or I, I tell you what, I, my nephew once in a while plays down in South Jersey hockey. So what I'm going to do, I told him, because, geez, we were we were texting him for over an hour. Uh, I, I said, well, next time my nephew, because usually I pass on those games. They're like an hour and a half away or so. Uh, I said, next time he, you know, it might be next season, but... Next time he has a hockey game down the shore, because he's in the shore area, like way down. I says, I'll go, and then we'll meet or something, like, because it's actually more towards him than towards me. So, you know, so maybe we'll do that. But eventually, it's nice uh, to see old friends, you know. I mean, uh, they they were the salt of the earth. So, you know, uh, it's nice to, to see that. And I, I had to report that today because... It was very nice to see him, and he contacted me, and we had a good time last night talking. <laughs> and that's my card shop story. So you make a lot of friends doing this. You know, they might not be, like, here now. They might be down, you know, out of state and stuff, but it's nice to hear from them once in a while. Uh, so we're going to go to box break. So I'll tell you about the road trip on Tuesday, all right? So we got the Topps Chrome. Allen and Ginter. We opened nine packs uh, on Tuesday, and we got some nice cards, but these are the best four we got, probably. We got a uh, Chris Bryant purple out of 199 refractor. 
This was nice. The Will Smith Orange Refractor, number another 25. And we got a mini uh, rookie card of Royce Lewis. And a mini green Mookie Betts, number to 99. So, not bad. But now we got nine more packs, and we want better stuff, I hope. So, let me get the nine packs out. There's no guarantee of autographs or anything in here. So, we'll see what happens. But I was happy I just got some numbered cards there. And like I said, the box costs us 100 bucks. We'll see if we come close to getting our money's worth. I mean, even the cards themselves are very nice. And at worst, they're going to go on my 50 cent box, probably. And if somebody needs to make the set, there they go. We got a Benny Horowitz, who's a musician. We got a Drew Rosenhaus. He's a sport agent. Okay, we got a rookie mini. Elliot Ramos, rookie mini. And we got a Cabrian Hayes. All right. I know we, we're going to do a box break with this on the kitchen table on Monday. But uh, I don't think I, I this probably we, we've done at least one or two kitchen tables with that this stuff before. And I might have opened a box before out of three or four boxes. This is probably my fourth box open. I haven't seen an autograph yet. So we got an Alex Bragman. And look at this. We got a blue number to 150 of that Benny Horowitz guy. <laughs> So who's he? Let's see. He's a drummer for the rock band, the Gaslight Anthem. All right. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I never heard of them, but what are you going to do? Uh, we got a Scott Hansen, sport host, mini. And we got an O'Neill Cruz rookie. That's not bad. Yeah, O'Neill Cruz rookie. All right. Not bad at all. All right, next pack. What do we got? We got Albert Pujols. Well, this is a refractor, a Richie Palacios rookie refractor. We got an Inside the Park mini. Oops, watch out. I just dropped it. I got padded stuff here, so it's good. Ken, Ken A for George National Park. And we got Randy Johnson. Rookie to start off. Josh Lowe, rookie. We got a mini of Joe Mauer. That's nice. Oh, this is nice. Hold on, wait. It's stuck. Jeremy Pena, rookie. Mm, that's not bad. Then we got a Neil Moore. He's a canoe, canoe guy, it looks like. he's. What does it say he does? Explorer. He's an explorer. They're interesting. You got everything in here. It could be anything. I mean, it's mostly baseball, but it's nice. You know, the oddball cards are nice. We got, oh, Corey Seager. And then we got a refractor card of Martin Sheen. We got a Ryan Mountcastle mini. And we got a Tyler O'Neill. We still got four packs to go. Let's see. Four packs to go here. Oh, we got Ronald Acuna Jr. And what's this here? Baseball lexicon. Ace. That's just a bunch of aces. <laughs> All right. Oh, who's this here? Oh, Brian De La Cruz, rookie. Brian De La Cruz, rookie. And we got a Hideki Matsui. All right. You know, you think it. I think these are going for like one hundred five, one ten online. But for a hundred bucks, you think they throw a something in it? We'll see. I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna stop talking now because maybe I'll throw myself off. Ozzy Albies. We got a Jim Tomey mini. Yogi Berra. There you go. 
And we got a Brandon Woodruff. And we got two packs left here. We got a Buster Posey. We got a Buster Posey Refractor. And inside the park, Kings Canyon National Park Mini. And we got Vladimir Guerrero Jr. We're down to our last pack. Oh, last pack magic. Let's see. Maybe. Oh, there's something colored in this one. <laughs> we got a B Real. He's a rapper. Okay. Oh, it's a rookie. This ain't bad. Number to 199, a C.J. Abrams, uh, pur purple or pink, whatever you want to call it, rookie. All right. Oh, this is nice. Hank Aaron Mini. Look at that. Hank Aaron Mini. And a Sam Lewis, or Sam Mewis. He's a soccer player. So, there you go with the box. I mean, let's see what we 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 got here. So, what I do is I, I separate very easy. If it's going to go in my 50 cent or dollar box, I don't put it in a little stack here. But if it might make my $3 box, I put it in a little stack or, or better, you know. So we got a Hank Aaron Mini. Got the C.J. Abrams that we just pulled, number to 199. The Jeremy Pena rookie. The O'Neill Cruz rookie. The Horowitz, number to 150. I mean, you never know with a guy like that. I got to look it up. We got the Mookie Betts out of, one, out of 99. We got the Royce Lewis rookie. We got the uh, uh, Chris Bryant, number 199. And the Will Smith, the 25. So... I'll be nice once once I sell all this stuff, which might take a long time. I might make 50 bucks, but hey, you know something? It was two videos and I had some fun. So maybe I only lost 50 bucks on the deal. We'll see. <laughs> Unless that Horowitz guy pulls me out. You never know with that oddball stuff. So, but uh, it's a lot of fun. I like the stuff, you know. It wasn't a lot of Yankees. So, I mean, I had Yogi and... A, I think Matt Suey and maybe one or two more. There wasn't a lot of Yankees in this stuff. So maybe Monday, kitchen table box break. We'll see if we get anything there. Because we have not gotten autograph out of that stuff yet. And like I says, I think between what we opened and what we sold, it's like eight boxes and we haven't seen an autograph yet. So I don't know. Top's getting a little stingy. <laughs> and that that's our box break. So... We're getting ready to close. Oh, geez, under under 40 minutes, maybe. So we got prizes. Oh, oh, first I gotta remind you. I just put up yesterday another rare finds video. And I wanted to do a video on the card before I sold it. So it's funny. It was the CJ Strat explosion. One of our local listeners, nice he's a he's a dealer in the area, friend of mine. He's I'd like to buy that card from you. I said, All right, well, when you come over. You know, we'll take a look at it. So he decided he wanted to buy it. I gave him a pretty fair price. But I, before I bought it, I said, let me take a video of it. It's one of the rare, rarest things I've pulled lately anyway. So I took a, that's, that's on the rare finds. I don't have it no more though. Rob just told me that he sent it to the grader and we hope he gets a 10. We'll see what happens. But uh, it's, it's probably going to be for sale, but not until it comes back from the grader. All right. So if you comment on this video and you're a subscriber, next video where I'll tell you about my road trip, we got a chance for these prizes. We got a uh, first out of the box, another 2021 Topps Chrome Pack. Second out of the box, this is a nice card. We got the Classics Images Alex Rodriguez Prospect Card. Third out of the box, we got an Optic Diamond King of Albert Pujols. And fourth out of the box, we got a Diamond King memorable moment, Jackie Robinson, right there. So all you got to do is comment on this video, 
and be a subscriber, and you got a chance for one of those prizes there. Let me throw these over here. There we go. So that's about all we got today. I'm going to post this a little early because I'm going to be on my way to Hackensack. So it's a nice long drive in the rain, too. So what are you going to do? Going will be nice. It'll be sort of daylight anyway. But coming home, it's going to be dark and rainy. So I don't like those drives, but it's the national, so I got to go. Uh, don't forget our eBay. We're uh, Mr. 95 Cents. Uh, no, wait. I'm Sports PG on eBay. I can't remember nothing. Sports PG on eBay. And on COMC, we got a lot of stuff. We're Mr. 95 Cents on COMC. And if you get a chance, I'm sold out and it's local only, but it's a lot of fun to see the stuff being opened and the camaraderie we have at the kitchen. But the kitchen table box break will be on the Facebook business page, which is Wow Sport Cards, a.k.a. the Sports Pagans MC Game Room. That'll be Monday night, 6.30 we go on. You know, you can watch it and see some nice boxes being opened. Hopefully, you know, our Alan and Ginter Chrome will have an autograph. We'll see what happens. All right, thanks a lot for tuning in, everybody. We'll talk to you later. And don't forget, collect what you like, because if it goes up or down, you still like it. And try not to buy a box for more than 120 because what we're getting out of this stuff ain't really worth it, and it ain't bad getting a $50 loss, but you don't want to get a $500 loss. Take care now. We'll see you.